Hello and welcome to the first lesson in creating a different type of game. Last time we created a chase game where the character ran on screen and the enemy chased him, he collected coins. This game is going to be um, using the mouse pointer to, to shoot various things on the screen. The principle is almost exactly the same. We just need to put a mouse crosshead on the screen and we just need to use the mouse button to move around and shoot objects or hit, cause collisions with our crosshair and obstacles on the screen. As I say, the principle is the same from the last lesson. So you need to have followed the chase game lessons before diving into this lesson. I, I've already, in my media folder, I've already entered all the images and there's the crosshair and there's one of the enemies that we're going to use for this short lesson. So the media is already in my file. Um, the, exactly the same as last time, I've got the skeleton or the structure ready. So it's going to be load the images, set up the variables, create the sprites, put the sprites on the screen, the do loop, and then our go subs. And so to begin, the first thing as always is to load the image. So load the image. Is and it's uh, I'm gonna call number one and that's the crosshair. So that's the crosshair PNG I just shown you in the in the file. Then I'll declare the variable the crosshair equals one. So we've now got our name of it crosshair, the crosshair X, X position and the crosshair Y Y position. I've put it 512 coordinates across 360 down. That's where it's going to start. Just some random numbers I thought of. Then we need to create the sprite as always. So create sprite crosshair one. We're just following the usual structure that we do. And then the final step is set sprite position and put the crosshair and the X position, the Y position on the screen. So set the sprite position. So that's this. So we've now we've now got a crosshair on the screen. Um, I've created the go sub called crosshair underneath the go sub section and it's a slightly different command. I, I found this in the help instructions. The, the, as I say, the help is very good. Um, it's set sprite position, crosshair, and then it's get pointer x, get pointer y. Once basically what you're saying is is you get pointer x, get pointer y, there you what detects our mouse movement and crosshair is is what the the, the 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 image that we're moving around is. So if I compile this and run it it should be moving around the screen it isn't so let's have a look what's gone wrong. Uh, I've 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 run my go sub so um, what I've done, all I've done, if you watch it, is I've just created an image on the screen. That's all I've done. I've created a go sub, which enables the mouse to move, but I haven't actually created a go sub in my, in my do loop. So I, I now call that go sub within my do loop, and it'll work now. So now... I move the mouse around and it follows my mouse pointer around. So 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 real, real, realistically speaking, to create a mouse pointer game is load the image, which is straightforward, we've done lots of times, and the final set step is just this one line. That one line is what creates a um, the mouse pointer movement. So let's now cause a collision with the crosshair. So to do that, I'll, I need to load in a new image. So load image two, and that will be my mushroom.jpg, I believe it is. Then I'll create my variables. I, I use X pause. It's 800 by 3 by 600 screen, so that's 400. 
I use x pos, you could use x coordinate, x co, it's up to you, I just use x position or x pos, left and right position. I, I use it because the, the guy that taught me, Paul, he would have, would, he just uses x pos, y pos, it's just something that I've continued to, to follow on with really. Okay, so that's that's pretty much the last step to do is set sprite position. Okay, so if I run that, because the, the, the image is in the media file, yeah, so we've got a problem at line 22. What have I done? Let's have a look. Yeah, spell typo. So compile and run again. And we've got a mushroom in the, right in the middle of the screen. Doesn't do anything because I haven't created a, a, a collision. And so We've got crosshair set sprite, crosshair set sprite collision. The, we just need to use our, all we, now we've set up our crosshair, all we need to do is cause a collision. And I've hidden this further down, so let's bring this back up. So I've created a go sub called mushroom. And before we had get sprite collision crosshair mushroom equals one, there's a collision. All I've got to do now is 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 we called get pointer x and get pointer y there so that that's what causes my um, mouse to move around that, that's just detecting movement of the mouse then get pointer pressed is the mouse button so what i'm saying is is if the now that i've called the coordinates if the mouse pointer is pressed if the mouse button is pressed then and so if I've pressed the mouse button and there's a collision between the crosshair and the object, the mushroom, and it's one, one for on, zero for off. So if my mouse button's pressed and I've got a collision with the crosshair and the mushroom, then I've just said mushroom X position and mushroom Y position are randomized between zero and 775 and 555 end if. That's it. Um, nearly made the same mistake again. I need to call the go sub from within the loop. So there should be one little problem that happens here. Let's have a look. So I'm shooting it, but it's not moving, it's not going. So why is that? That would be because we have the same as happened last time. It's a, it's a common mistake that I make anyway, is that what, we've, what we're doing is we're setting the position of the mushroom in the middle of the screen earlier on, but now we're shooting, the, we're shooting it. We want something to happen. So we now need to, so we're telling it to be random, but we're not setting the sprite position. So I need to set the sprite position and I've done that. And so now what I'm saying is if this pressed random movement, reset the sprite position. So when I do it now, should work. So I click it and he's moving around and he won't go off the screen. 575 across or 575 down, 775 across. And you'll notice that's as far down as it goes. And that's basically a very simple mouse pointer game. I will continue to add a few new features to this game, but realistically speaking, um, with the lessons you had last time, you should now be able to add in add in a score. You should be able to add in a start screen, an end screen, and all of that can be just copied from your from your previous lesson. So I'll probably do a couple of new features to this, but after that, then you should be free to carry on as you wish. I hope you found that lesson straightforward and you have the building blocks now to make your own shooter game. 
hope you found it useful until next time thank you very much